Hello everyone. Today I am going to go over how to do the temperature settings and, and things of that nature regarding the B&H 5200, CW 5200 chiller. It's very similar to the SNA chiller, but it is different. Now, I know I have a faulty machine and I'm returning it, but I did, since I am returning it, and then I am going to go with a different brand, uh, I wanted to put a video out on this particular machine, the B&H, because I could not find any on YouTube currently and wasn't a whole lot of information out there. So, each of these brands have their own thermostat, thermostat parameters list. Here's the SNA one. And they have uh, F0 through F9 and their parameters and defaults. And they have two sets of defaults, I guess, depending on uh, the machine. Whereas... The B and H machine they have their own set of parameters, very similar to the S and A, but theirs is F zero through F eleven. And one of the things on this one, it does not have a password. So what I wanted to go through with everyone is one, you know, how to do a factory reset, the factory reset between the two machines to two different chillers, the B&H and the SNA, pretty much the same. However, how to get to the thermostat parameters is different. So we're going to do a factory reset first, and then I'm gonna walk you through some of the rest of the things. So to do a factory reset on the B&H, you're gonna press the up down arrow keys together and then switch on the machine and there we go with the RE that means it's been factory reset now normally so on the top of the machine it has some basic instructions and in just if you wanted to go off most of the defaults and just change the temperature, you would press set and enter the value you would want and then press reset or RST to do the temperature. So if we do set, we could go down say we want to go to 20 degrees and then RST to save it so if you so it should be saved so if we wanted to change it we could but there you go okay but we want to now go into the factory settings and actually set it correctly. So we're going to start over. We're going to turn it off and we're going to do another factory reset and let's go change some parameters. So up down arrow key, switch it on. factory reset all right so on the B&H machine to get into the thermostat parameters you need just to press the set key for six seconds and then you have to work fast so then you have you can go through and change any of the functions. So F0 is going to be the temperature you want the water to be. So we want it 20 degrees. So we're going to do that. And then 
set. It goes back there. You press set again, and it'll show you it saved it. All right, go back and go to F1. F1 is the refrigeration return difference. So let's select that. I think we're good for that. That's really only for intelligent mode. And you got to work fast on this one. Uh, you have to go keep going back into the settings. But that's fine, right? Okay, so now F2 is the refrigeration return. Oh, that one's the refrigeration return. F1 is temperature different between the numerical. And the fall is negative 2 degrees. So I couldn't find anything on it. Uh, it says only for intelligent mode. And so we're going to skip that one. So the next one would be F2, refrigeration return difference. Default is 0.8 degrees Celsius. And we're going to change it to 0.5. And it's the difference of temperature we are allowing. So plus or minus 5 degrees. 0.5 degrees. So that is F2. So we'll go in here, press set, F2, set to select, and change it to 0.5 and set. We're good. All right. Next one F3, control mode, zero or one. One is for intelligent, zero is for instant temperature. So we want zero for the manual mode. And you would do the same for an SNA machine. So that is F3. Set to select. And we're going to change it to, oh, we want zero. Set. All right, the next one is F4, which is ultra high temperature alarm. And then we got F5, which is ultra low water temperature, water alarm. So right now there's 17 and 16 degrees. And so we're, based on what I found for SNA, it's similar to that. So it's alarm for high temp. So it's F0 plus this number sets the alarm. Or, and then allowable low temp alarm and basically F0 minus that number sets alarm. So we want a 10 degree variance. So let's change those two. Alright, that's F4 and F5. see that the defaults they have on these are not matching what they have on the spreadsheet. So, I mean, what they have in their documentation. Sorry. Alright. F4, F5. Now, F6 says ultra high temperature alarm. This is from negative 30 to 50 and they have a default of 45 and notes say can change it or leave it it's the alarm for room temperature so we're going to leave it at that 45 degrees all right then f7 is the room temperature calibration f8 is temperature calibration plus or minus five and it says the default is zero. Let's just go check to see if the defaults are right. But I do not have any information on those two because they are not options that SNA has. So that's F7 and F8. It does say zero. And that F8 says zero. 
So I'm going to leave them alone because I do not know what we should be putting there. F9 says compressor delay 0 to 99 and it should be set for 60. I think this is different too. Then it says default of 60 degrees and I thought it was really meaning 60 seconds because it sounds like the compressor doesn't turn on for about a minute. So I think the one is actually standing for a minute. Because if we go in there and look at it, it just goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, blah, blah, blah. So set that. That's your only options. Up to 10. So I think actually this is changed to be like minutes. So we'll just leave it at that one minute. And like I said, I'm a newbie. I don't know what I'm talking about, really. I've just researched and basing my information on um, my best guesstimate on the information that I found so far. Alright, so then this machine has an F10 and an F11, and then water level switch alarms 1 and 2. Zero normally open or one normally closed. It's supposed to be defaulted at one. We'll set the check the defaults. We're not going to change them. It sounds reasonable. Backwards to ten. It is so one, and we'll go to eleven, and it does say one. So we're going to leave those alone. That's the information that I have for these. Um, I, at least it gives you a little insight on this machine versus the nothing that's out there. Take it with a grain of salt. Use it to, as you will. Um, not liable for any mess ups because, like I said, my B&H machine is definitely defective. No matter what I do, my temperature just goes up, and I am shipping it back, and I will be going with an SNA, and hopefully have better luck. So these are not cheap machines. Even this one cost me over $400, and the SNA is like $600 plus. So I do want to, to wanted to give people a little insight. And I'll be sharing my pictures with you in this video as well. So you will see those at the end. Thanks everyone. Like and subscribe. I hope this was at least a little bit helpful. Have a great day.